guess just in terms of, uh, you know, both quarterbacks have never played a full season of football because they were freshmen last year. So, you know, how has that dynamic been for them in terms of, you know, preparing to play a full season and how have some of the older players maybe helped to prepare them for that challenge? Well, they, I mean, I don't know that we focus so much on that. Like, mm -hmm. that's not necessarily part of our, um, where we're putting our attention right now. Um, you know, I think we're just focused on how do we get everything we can out of them in the day and trying to, you know, reach peak performance every day and push, you know, to a higher level of, of uh, production. Um, those things, the experience part of it, we don't control, but we do have a, a number of guys on offense that have played a lot of snaps. And so as we get closer to game, they'll help. Um, but both uh, Ken and Mike have, have at least experienced what game day's like and playing in, in big settings. And so, um, you know, they'll be ready when the time comes. You know, we're in a time where guys can transfer whenever they feel like it. And, you know, you got two quarterbacks competing. What did it mean for you that you didn't have to recruit those guys back when you get here after they've been through a coaching change and all this stuff where they could have easily, you know, opted for something else? Well, I think they, they believe in Vanderbilt, you know, and I think this goes beyond me. I mean, this is about a commitment to a university and a belief in a, in a place. And it's the same reason I came back, right? It, this is... This is a, an amazing, an amazing program that hasn't achieved the level that it's capable of, but they believe in it, and I believe in it, and so um, obviously um, that that's the thing that uh, that keeps them here, and so it means a ton to me. And both those guys, uh, including Moose too, they've all three um, they haven't flinched. You know, they, they've since we've gotten here, they've all three developed, they've grown physically, they've grown mentally, um, and they're learning how to how to quarterback the team, which. You know, I think sometimes with the quarterbacks, they train on their own, you know, they have their own coaches. And then what in reality, what becomes important at this level is that that one position strengthens, strengthens the other 10 on the field. And so there's there's a dynamic there of leadership that, that, has, to, that has to be a part of their process. And, um, I, you know, I'm proud of the guys for how they've worked. Is that why those two were among the first to get their numbers when you did the uh, Ken and Mike? Yeah, well, they, they earned that because of, yes, their work, their investment in the program, um, and like that's work in the weight room, again, on the field, in the classroom, in the community, that is uh, building into the program in optional times. I mean, they, they've, been, they've been in the front of all that. What do you think of, you know, the quarterbacks in terms of how they've maybe progressed or developed in camp and especially, like, with taking care of the ball? Um, we, we've been careless at times at the finish of play. Like I think one, one of the things in practice that's a challenge is you can get in bad habits with what you do with ball late in the, in the snap because we're not facing a live rush. You can force it a little bit, and that to me is a recipe for disaster in terms of turnovers. But um, look, they're, they're, you know, they've had good days and bad days, good throws and bad throws. You know, over the course of practice, like you, you're going to get enough exposure to where you're going to have some snaps you're really proud of, and some, you know, where you made the wrong decision or you know the ball elevated on you, whatever. Um, I think Saturday will be a, a big moment for them. You know, build to see what production looked like then. We'll have another chance, um, you know, next Saturday too for a scrimmage. I think a lot will be determined through through that environment. How did you feel about the way your defense played today? And when it was going well for them, what did you see as the two or three things that keep that? The front, the front playing well makes it hard to get the run game going, which makes it hard to get in rhythm on offense. Felt like those guys um, really set the tone uh, for the day, particularly in the team period. And then obviously when we can rush on third down, that pocket collapses pretty quickly. So. That there's there's two sides to that, right? There's yeah. a need to establish rhythm on offense, a need to be more uh, like attentive to detail and assignment, um, you know, protection, etc. But I think in the front, when we're on, the defense has a chance to play pretty good. When you're evaluating that, because like you said, there's two sides. How do you evaluate? Well, we really like what the defensive line did here versus we really didn't feel the offensive line held up its end of the bargain. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's on per side of ball. You're kind of just focusing on you know, like so you'll get production numbers after every practice, and you'll say, okay, um, what is the story behind the numbers? Some of it is you have a, a maybe a one that's going against a two or a three and winning those matchups. Those are just kind of anecdotal things that you 
as because what we're ultimately trying to do is figure out who plays. Yeah. And so for us, this is less about the statistics and more about like who is going to take the majority of the snaps. And and we certainly fill uh, with pa practice production, excuse me, but also we we look at um, where the matchups are and w what led to the production. You mentioned the second scrimmage. You, do you want to have a starting quarterback after that? Are you comfortable taking that competition into game week? Where you know is your general you know pre preference in terms of when to decide that? You know, I don't know that it necessarily is beneficial to to have a date to where we have to name a quarterback. To me, it's a matter of letting the competition play out. Also, I think you know there's there's two skill sets there that are challenging to prepare for, and so. Um, for me, it's a matter of like, you know, being honest with the team, uh, being authentic to what's happened through our competition. Obviously, you can develop chemistry when you have a name starter and you kind of know who's going to be out there together. But, you know, I'm very comfortable taking that into game week because ultimately um, what you just want to see is the competition through. And you mentioned having those two quarterbacks that have kind of a different skill set. So how do you, you know, kind of evaluate a competition when the, the things that their strengths and weaknesses are not the same or you might need to design slightly different offensive plays depending on which one of them is playing? Well, there's there's a challenge. There's a challenge there because and I think it's a great question as far as, you know, uh, comparing skill sets and building offense around skill sets. Ultimately, it's going to be about how they influence the other 10 players. And again, in a scrimmage setting, you're going to get a feel for their command of a huddle, their command of situation, uh, their ability to lead drives to touchdowns. And that'll be ultimately what they're measured on. Both guys have really strong personalities. They have real strong leadership skills. We want to see who can lead the offense to be effective, to convert on conversion downs, to score touchdowns in the red zone. Center seems to be one of your more contested position battles right now. What are you seeing out of your guys there? What does someone need to do to separate? Snap location's been a focus for us the last two practices. Um, I thought today it cleaned up. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of elements to that, right? There's the, the identification piece where they're identifying the front, which sets the chain to, to get different things uh, picked up in the blitz game and the run game. Um, but uh, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't, and none of it works if we're not getting a snap back to location. So uh, we still need work on that. We still need to clean up the operation. Um, but yes, it's, it's going to be a battle at that spot. And again, that'll be one that'll be exciting to watch when it's live and we're playing football. All right, good. Everybody good? Thanks, John. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you.